Welcome back. February 24th, TRU is getting uh, ready to host the second movie in the Films for Change series. It's called Milk, Born into this World. Joining us to talk about it, we have Joanne Juris, who is a Campbell's public health nurse, and on the far end, Melissa Schott, fourth-year nursing student. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you very much. First of all, I think these films are great. They're mm -hmm. thought-provoking. We have promoted some of them before, but they are really Desk or sort of geared towards teaching people to think about things in a way they don't normally. Yes, that's correct. Yes, yeah, so this is called Milk Born Into This World. It's about breastfeeding, the importance of it. Let's talk a little bit about it. Yes, so this film was uh, directed by a Canadian filmmaker, Naomi Weiss, and it looks at uh, childbirth and breastfeeding and feeding practices globally. Uh, so we look at different countries and then the intent after looking at the film is to have a discussion as to how that can apply to here in Canada and more specifically our community as well. As a public health nurse, this must be something that you know a lot about then. Yes, it is. So I'm currently involved with the maternity care program, so we see mums as soon as they go home from the hospital address any feeding issues that they may have as well. How do you think we're doing in Canada as breastfeeding mothers? Are we? Do we have high numbers still? Actually, I know that's, yeah, we're pretty yeah. good. Good. Uh, and also within the interior here, our numbers are very good for initiating breastfeeding, a good 97%. They start to drop off around three months and then six months as well. But overall, across the globe, we are doing really well. We're at 97%? For initiating breastfeeding, yes. Wow. It's very good. We're going to see the trailer in just a minute here. We're going to watch just a snippet of it. But perhaps you can give us sort of a, a feel as to where this movie takes us. Well, it it's, shows us about 11 different countries and different um, nationalities and cultures around infant feeding and birth. And also looks at other strategies with World Health Organization uh, where emergencies come into play like say for example the refugee crisis or natural disasters and how we can support moms and families to have the best outcomes health outcomes for their families fantastic all mm -hmm. right let's take a look at the uh, trailer i know you can hear everyone talking we're all talking about you when the baby pega o mundo tem uma emoção que tá sabendo que tá aquela vida que a gente tá ajudando a vir ao mundo é uma vitória Every child has a right to basic nutrition. There's been a bit of a shift. A lot of the children under five don't make it. What often determines problems is how many interventions we have during labor and birth. Pressão tá boa, batimento tá tudo outro. Só tá esperando a natureza agir. Well, if I break your water, they're gonna send you up there. So she stuck her hand in to her elbow her and with her nail broke the water. I do feel like I was robbed of the experience of having my baby. I spent nine months carrying him and never gave birth. Many years the government has faced the challenge of child mortality. And to end up with a dead baby and to have to carry their dead baby home in a cloth, it just broke my heart. So I'm dying to know the problem with... Joanne, some fairly serious undertones yeah. to this movie. Yes, this certainly can be. Seems quite sobering. It is a sobering, but the intention of the film series is to also bring hope. Mm -hmm. And so the film does wrap up with hope and how we as a, as a community, as a nation and as a world can bring hope to families and looking at birth practices and looking also at supporting families and bringing nutrition to their families. Mm -hmm. And so yes, it is in the preview and the trailer does show some disturbing figures, but we, we with the intent of bringing hope to families. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, Melissa, again, you are a fourth year nursing student. Yes. And yes. you are interning uh, at, at Public Health. Yes, I'm um, working with Joanne. There, and you're yeah. working with Joanne. Yeah. So what is your stance on, on breastfeeding? Obviously, if you yes. went into this, this is something that you would be promoting, right? Yes, exactly. And I think breastfeeding is just a great um, thing to promote and protect health. And it's worldwide, right? So anyone can do it anywhere, anytime. Mm -hmm. And it's a great option for families. Yes. Yeah. I remember back in the 70s, of course, uh, th that was a movement. I remember where doctors would tell p uh, parents, uh, formula is better. Mm -hmm. uh, we've certainly come away from that. And it, I don't think, has gone back since then. 
happening. No, and, and that's the way science has gone as well. There's been so much research, not only on the milk itself, but also on baby's gut and long-term health effects. So uh, prevention of diseases and cancers for moms and mm -hmm. for babies. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's economically viable, it's environmentally friendly, it's sustainable. I mean, these are all the catch words today, and so it mm -hmm. certainly hits all of those targets. Fantastic. So, yeah. Thank you to the both of you for being here today to tell us about it. Thank you very much. Uh, you're very welcome. If you would like to take in this movie, it sounds like a good thinking movie. It's taking place February 24th, 7 o'clock at the Clock Tower Alumni Theatre at TRU. Uh, we are back in two minutes. Stay with us.